you know, I, I think it's important that we get things back to normal as soon as we can. And the only way that's going to happen is if people really do take these CDC recommendations seriously. I don't see this being a flip of the light switch. I think this is going to be a, a long, drawn-out process to where we all need to make sure we're practicing um, social distancing and doing the right things to get through this as quickly as possible here at the dealership. It is an essential business. People do need their vehicles and we're making sure that our service departments are open to, to make sure we can take care of people in that fashion. And we want to make sure that our technicians are safe and that also our, our customers are safe. And so um, we have a checklist that the porters go through in the service lanes where uh, they immediately wipe down the out outer door handle. Then as they enter the inside of the vehicle, they're wiping down any touch surfaces inside the car immediately when the customer exits the vehicle. We invest in a whole bunch of plastic steering wheel covers. After the technician's done with it, the car gets wiped down again. And then obviously it's taken through our car wash and every car is pulled up clean and wiped down. All these extra measures we took immediately when this thing broke out. You know, I think in our society we're finding out there's a lot of little extra things we're gonna end up doing as we go forward um, to assist in preventing something like this. So it's our new norm, I guess you could say. Just trying to do everything that we can as far as the CDC guidelines are for precautions to make sure that both the customers and our staff and our team members are safe.